Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. It's been a little while and if you have been following my community post, you have probably heard me talk about Battle Buddies. In today's video, I want to show you all the progress I have done on Battle Buddies together with my team of developers. Once you first spawn in Battle Buddies, you will arrive at the lobby. Inside the game, the first thing that you will notice is that at the top there is the player list. Then at the bottom it shows your active team. And at the left side it shows a menu button to view your buddies. Opening up the menu allows you to equip different buddies to take into battle. For example, I want to take Maya with me. We can change the skin that we want to use, for example the basic skin, we can read some general information about Maya and see the stats that she will use in game. We can also see at which maps she can be recruited at. Let's equip Maya for this example and let's equip Octri. Because the game is still in very very early development. When you playtest the game now, link will be in the description, you will have every character and skin unlocked. This will change in the future though, where skins can be obtained out of a random loot box system and buddies can be recruited when defeated on the map. Walking around the lobby, you've probably noticed these apple carriages. They got a timer and a little description for the map. You can compare these with the elevators of Tower Defense Simulator and Tower Heroes. They show the difficulty and a small description of the map. All you gotta do to join a match is hop into your carriage and wait for the timer to go down. After all players have joined the match, you will be greeted with a quick overview of the map to show that the match is about to begin. It will show you the enemy base and your base. You can use the arrow keys WASD or click the arrows to move from one side to the others. Of course you can also zoom out. Looks like the enemy has sent out a dunny. So, to counter their Donny, let's send out our own. We can see that our Donny looks quite a bit different. It's probably because the enemy is wearing a skin. We can see the waves and a little timer at the top of the screen. And at the right, we can see how many buddies we can summon. Once the two meet in the middle, a fight will break out and the best will survive. Of course, these two are identical, so they will probably just kill each other and nothing will really stand left. As you can see, it's all about timing your spawns and figuring out what you want to spawn next. Do you want to spawn a ranged unit or a melee unit? Because you have to kill their base before they kill yours. Here is a great example of me using a Donny as a meat shield while our ranged enemy comes in and snipes the enemy. Of course you probably want to use a better tank than Donny, but at this time it's all I could afford. So... <laughs> They're actually getting pretty close to my base and that's probably because I didn't really manage my spawns very well. It is very important that you always keep a track on your tokens 
the cooldown of your buddies and to make sure that you can win the fight because if they get too close to your base it can turn out pretty nasty. Of course, some games are better with friends and that is why you can team up with your friends. In this example, I will be taking Newt on a stage with me. We will enter the carriage like normal and you can go with your friends. You can go up with four people and this will greatly impact how you change the game. We are now both in a match and we can both spawn stuff, which is pretty cool. He sent out a Roombi and I can send out a Donny. Of course, to counter the fact that there are two players, the token gain will be lower. But it allows you to bring more characters than you are alone. So that makes up for the lower token gain. You can really strategize with your team about who brings what and how to get the most efficient team to beat a stage. Once you get a lot of buddies on the field, matches can actually become quite hectic with passive abilities going off, ranged units sniping from afar and tanks protecting the precious buddies. It can be quite easy to be overwhelmed but by keeping your head cool you can beat even the strongest of buddies. So that has basically been the development of battle buddies so far and I must say I am super happy with the result at which we came at such a fast speed. We are still working on a lot of other things like for example getting rewards when you win a stage. <laughs> that would be nice wouldn't it? Right now I really want to focus on getting the skin system working where you can unlock new skins and after that I think the boss of the stage will be next. So you can actually win the stage, get rewards and spend them. I'm super excited to keep developing on this game. And if you guys are interested, I can give you guys a little update every time something major happens. Like the skin system, a new map or something else. If you're gonna try this game out, please keep in mind this game is still very very early access and isn't even released yet. Progress will not save in the final version and there will probably be some bugs. So if you find any bugs, let me know. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.